what is up today guys alrighty in this one we're gonna be connecting indirect joint systems so pretty much by the end of this our joints are going to move together because right now they don't we can move our spine and nothing else moves we can move our arm and our hand doesn't move um, nothing is together and by the end of this our joints anyway are going to be moving as they kind of should so to start off we want to go to the rigging tab and then constrain parent constraint option box and we want to make sure that maintain offset is checked on otherwise it's going to destroy everything we've built so far so uh, yeah make sure that's checked on for sure now the best way I can describe what we're about to do is we're going to tell the end joint of a chain to control the next joint system pad that's a little hard to understand just by words but once we start doing it and you see me do it um, you're going to hopefully get it and uh, once you've got it you got it um, it's just by words it's a little confusing so let's go ahead and get into it so I'm going to start off by grabbing the spine here so I've got my spine waist now my neck is going to be controlled by my spine so I've got my spine waist joint I'm going to command select my neck pad not the neck joint but the neck pad make sure maintain offset is on and I'll hit apply now I can see if I move my spine that my neck is going to move as well and that's pretty much what we're doing here we're connecting what should be connected so then I can grab my neck waist and my head pad apply now that moves and this is a way easier process to do in the outliner like for one you need it open just to see the pads but for two it's just easier to make sure you've got the correct waist joint so then I can grab my head waist my jaw pad and now my jaw will move with my head which moves with my neck which moves with my spine Alrighty, so now we're going to do one of the more complicated ones, um, and it's not exactly so black and white like you'd think like a, like a waist to pad is. Now we're going to grab a, a normal bind joint and connect it up to our clavicles, because the clavicles are a little, you know, they can be different than a waist joint, uh, because our clavicles are going to require something that's not a waist joint. It's not exactly um, super easy to figure out, but I went ahead and went to the side orthographic view, to see which of my uh, spine joints would be the last one that controls my clavicle. So based on where my shoulders are located and my clavicles are located, I determined that spine 06 bind is going to be the last one that controls my clavicle. So I selected spine 06 bind and my right clavicle pad and hit apply. And I did that with the left as well. So now I can see that that joint is the last one to control it and then anything above that does not control it. Another one that would be kind of hard to figure out is uh, the wing arm pads. So I went ahead and uh, selected spine 06 bind and did that to my wings as well. So spine 06 is where everything kind of disconnects. Well, it's the last one to connect. So I can grab my wing arm waist and grab my wing finger pad for all of my wing fingers, connect those up. Then I can grab my left clavicle waist, my left arm pad and apply and really just work through my whole character connecting what uh, will be connected. Alrighty, so now our whole upper half is connected and uh, ready to go. Now we're going to set up the lower half. So I'll grab my hip joint and my left leg pad and apply. Do the same on the right side. My legs are hooked up. Grab my hip joint and my tail pad. Now all that's hooked up. Now I won't be grabbing the leg waist for the toes. I'll be grabbing the 05 bind and then hooking that up to the toe pads. Now my upper half moves as it should and my lower half moves as it should. Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it for this one. All of our joints are now moving as they should with one another and uh, you know we can kind of start to see this whole thing coming together. So that's going to be it for this one guys. If you guys would please like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video where we are going to be making some controls. Oh yeah. See you guys later.